Do you have uh, a vision of the future monetary system, a unified programmable ledger? Give us a sense of why and what the vision hopes to achieve eventually. What we want is to lay the ground, the infrastructure for a modern uh, financial system. Now, uh, the technology is moving very fast. We have a very solid foundation, so the idea is basically to use that solid foundation, incorporate the new technologies, and facilitate the development of a future financial system. What gaps in particular are you trying to fill? Well, one, of course, is that financial system, as, as e efficient as it is today, is still full of, 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 of transaction costs, compliance costs too. So one very important motivation is to reduce those uh, frictions as, as much as possible. The other thing is to onboard more people easily, more easy. Uh, for example, one of the main issues related to lack of in sufficient inclusion is that precisely transaction costs are very, very high. Therefore, to manage small payments or to give access to small firms, so small, medium-sized enterprises, or services to people in remote areas is still a major problem. What are the priorities for the BIS in 2023 is to focus on stable coins and CBDCs as well? I'm just wondering, in terms of regulation, what additional regulation do you foresee that's needed? Well, uh, uh, in terms of, uh, yes, cryptocurrencies need, need to be regulated. It, it is obvious now that it is necessary. Certainly aspects of consumer invest, investment protection is very important. And well, of course, also uh, focusing on 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 the, the the exchanges. The exchanges are key. How some uh, some of these activities interact with the traditional financial system? Some should be valid. Should, some should be tolerated. And those are the ones we should regulate. What do you think is impacting the views of central bankers the most right now when it comes to the crypto ecosystem? I mean, how much of it has to do with the FTX incident, for instance? Well, you know, a few years ago, uh, crypto assets and cryptocurrencies were, were in a way put as an alternative to, tro to, to fiat money. I think that battle has been won. Uh, technology doesn't make for trusted money. Uh, the most important aspect is for these activities not to have a systemic impact. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, if this grows dramatically and we have uh, events like FTX, uh, that at some point could have a systemic, a syst systemic impact. And that's something that we want uh, certainly to prevent. India, which is hosting the G20, is pushing for greater regulation on cryptocurrencies. What conversations are you expecting at the G20, and where are they in those conversations? I would say the most important body of the G20 uh, that has to do with financial activities is the Financial Stability Board. The Financial Stability Board, where ministers of finance, regulators, central banks get together, and they decide, I would say, the main uh, rules of the game, I would say, for the international financial system. I anticipate a strong statement in favor of, of regulation. It will be up to each country to decide which particular approach they will follow in terms of the alternatives that there are out there.